Hey guys, I'm going to take you down here to show you a product that I was recently sent from Octoly. Octoly, as you know, is a company that works with brands and then also works with creators like YouTube creators or Instagram creators and sends out products for free to review basically uh, always with the ability to give your honest opinion about the products. But I was recently sent this lipstick from a company I had seen other people doing reviews of on YouTube, but I had never tried this product before. It's called Real Her, and it is a moisturizing lipstick. Some of the pluses of this product are that it's cruelty-free, which I always think is great if you can find, and it's a natural formula. It's free of any harmful chemicals like parabens and sulfates. But the best thing about this company is the fact that it is so pro-woman, pro-girl. Every lipstick purchased, Real Her will donate 20% of all profits to the American Association of University Women, which supports programs uh, that empower women and girls. So I thought that was really kind of a great thing to do. But again, it was sent to me by Octoly. This is the packaging, kind of a minimal looking packaging, but I kind of like it. It looks kind of futuristic. And the name of the lipstick company is right here. And then you open it up. It's not a magnetic closure, but it is pretty solid. I know that when I close it, it's not gonna open up in my purse. The name of this one, they all have cool names, but this one is called Sorry Not Sorry. It's a beautiful kind of pinky coral. I have it right here on my hand, if you can see right there it is. But I am gonna put it on my lips so you'll be able to see what it looks like in the light. But if I was gonna purchase this again, which honestly I will purchase it again because I love this so much, I would definitely pick this color because of my skin tone. I just really love it. But I'll show you what this looks like on my lips. This lasted fairly well on my lips all day as long as I didn't eat and wipe my mouth off. Obviously, any lipstick will come off if you do that. And the other thing I like about this lipstick is that it really stays in place. It doesn't bleed. Once I put it on, it's moisturizing, but not so moisturizing that it starts bleeding in all kinds of the fine lines around my mouth. So this was a really a positive I have no negatives about this. I really love this lipstick, honestly. So I'll give you some views of what this looks like in the light so you can get a better idea of the color.